So for this next character, we need to head back to Estrus. It's been a while since we've been there, hasn't it? But before we do that, we should probably form a party, right? Because, uh, you know, it'd be a good idea. Alright. So, you know, whoever. Du -du -du. Bum, bum, bum. So, obviously, we'll put in Gene. We'll put in... Kyle, because... Because why not? Because he's Kyle. And he does Kyle-like things. You know how it is. Go ahead and put in Lorelei. And we actually can't put in Silides right now, so we'll have to put in somebody else. Uh, da, mm -hmm. Can we put in Dine? Okay, okay, I guess we'll put in Dine. Why not? He's built up, so whatever, dude. Whatever you gotta do. Um, we'll go ahead and put in a... Wasn't there somebody else who had... Yeah. Oh, you, you, you had a scare. I, th I thought there was someone else that had a... Um... Potch finder, but I guess only e Egbert has it. Which is fine. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but there you go. Potch finder, okay. So we want to head back to Estrus, because that's just the cool place to be. That, that's where all the cool kids are hanging out, you know, doing jumping jacks and shiznit. And how you doing? I want to go to Estrus. That's what I want to do. So we want to head towards towards Babbage's shop, and that should trigger a cutscene. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Welcome! What is happening? What is this? Frivolous man? Well, 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 look at that. A kid. This'll be a cinch. Vulgar man. Yep, no money like easy money. Bwahaha! <laughs> Vicious man. <laughs> We're gonna get paid a whole heap of cash for bashing your skull in, kid. You've got yourself a rich and powerful enemy. Might as well let us crush your skull now, or there'll be worse to come. Uh-huh. Wait! Uh-oh. Now what? What is this nonsense? Huh? Female warrior! Her look kind of reminds me of Camille from Sukoden. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Adults like you attacking a mere child. A child? I don't think so. What? Whoa, hey, lovely. I like the outfit. Yeah, nice legs. Whoa, wee! She's asking for it. Oh, the lovely's asking for it. Forget the kid. Let's play with this broad. Ah. <sighs> You really are disgusting. What? Who are you? Have you something to add, Matthias? Matthias from Lagoon! These imbecilic and brutish lowlifes dared to insult Lady Isabel. I would like to exact swift and final retribution, and then deposit their loathsome corpses into the sea. Sounds like a plan. Ha! Not so fast. These are the first evildoers we've run into since we came here. I called them first. Evildoers? Very good, my lady. What's this? Are we deciding what kind of game we're gonna play? Butt out, Tin Can. This game is crowded enough with three guys. Heh <laughs> 
evildoers, all of you. Huh? Now you're starting to sound like Max and Fred. Your faces are evil. Your minds are evil. Your words, your deeds, your hearts, all evil. Hey, I think she's trying to insult us or something. Your evil shall perish by my blade. Ooh, the lovely likes it rough. Hey, <laughs> just the ways I likes it. And this time I gets it for free. Yeah, I don't like their chances. Uh, <coughs> God, this lovely can really fight. How embarrassing. Ha, you call yourselves champions of evil? I'm swatting flies that put up a better fight than that. Why even bother being evil if you're going to be so weak and pathetic? Allow me to clean up, milady. Though it shall be a shame to be foul to sea with rank bodies such as theirs. <laughs> Eek! Somebody save me! They run away like cowards in the night. Ha! How unseemly. I like these two. Child, are you alright? I'm not a child! I'm a freaking prince! Okay. Yes, thank you very much. Let's be polite and such. Although I obviously could have taken him, but you know. I apologize for interfering. I don't think it matters what you choose there, though. I can tell by your stance that you're no amateur yourself. You think? I got Fire Dragon armor. I didn't wish to steal your fight, but I saw evil and, well... Sometimes I can get a little carried away. Please forgive me. That's alright. Let us go, Matthias. Very good, my lady. Okay, then. This land reeks of evil, misdeeds, and all sorts of general nefariousness. Basically. As followers of the Code of the Maximilian Knights, yep, there it is, we have much work to do. We'll start off by dealing with that reprehensible fiend of a prince who rebelled against his own little sister. Um... Excusez-moi? I will exact swift and final retribution against said prince, then deposit his loathsome corpse into the nearest lake. You really like doing that, don't you, dude? Him and lakes. Okay, now that we've seen that, we want to exit and head back to headquarters. And we want to head back to where Loose Arena is, and, uh, somebody should be there. Somebody should be there. There he is, Boz. Okay, good. Sometimes he's not there, and you, you have to leave the area and come back a few times. Oh, your highness! And in order to trigger this scene here, you you have to have seen the uh, the uh, scene about R Rainwall being taken. So, if it's not triggering, then that's why. Hey, there he is, and we were just talking about. It. Lord Wild. Yeah? Prince Frasier, we weren't talking about anything important. Please, don't pay any attention to us. Oh boy. They're hiding something. Lady Lucerina, why are you trying to hide it? It's just... This is serious business. His Highness ought to know about it. Oh, I suppose. Tell me about it. What's up? Truth is, Your Highness, Lady Lucerina just got a letter from Master Urum. Oh, boy. Spe Speaking of nefarious deeds... He escaped from Rainwall and has gone into hiding in Howd Village. Howd Village? He could not endeavor to ask the Prince to rescue him, but he has most crucial intelligence about Godwin's strategy. Oh, yeah? 
intelligence that he can only reveal, of course, in person to his highness. He'd like you to come to Hod with as few people as possible, so as to keep things discreet. Your highness, what do you think? Hmm. It sounds extremely suspicious. Say, you know it does. You don't think Master Urim is trying to fool the prince, do you? That's kind of his thing, and he always fails, so... I'm not too worried. Ooh, that little weasel! Of course he's trying to fool his highness. My brother is a rotten, no-good, cowardly sneak. Accurate. His letter is almost surely a trap. Please, your highness, don't fall for Urim's lies. Please, I'm begging you. I don't worry about it. We're fine, no matter what he pulls. So what we want to do now is is make a party with only two to three people. I'm not sure if like support ma matters, but we'll go ahead and take them off anyway, just to be safe. I'm not really sure if it does matter or not, but, yeah. Yeah, 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 calm down, dude. I think we'll just take the Prince, Leon, and Kyle. I think that'll work. Because I think there's... I, I think you have to get into a battle. I don't recall, but I think so. Your Highness, you're going with so few people? You can't be serious. You believe my brother's letter and you're actually going to Howard Village? Yes, I am. Yep. I'm not going! Please, you must reconsider. Have you already forgotten what my brother did in Sable? Please, please don't go, your highness. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Let's make sure we have a good a good formation. Formation, I can't speak. No, see see the, the that'll actually work. We just want to reposition. There you go. Okay. We don't have much money. To Hod Village. Obviously. And yeah, you 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 want to make sure Lu Lucerina comments about you going with, with such few people. Otherwise, that means you probably have too many. So just stick with two or three. I'm not sure if if four would work, but maybe. But three is more than enough. Alright. So yeah, you, you just want to walk into this exit here and we kind of turn around like what? Oh, why, your highness, I'm so pleased to see you. So delightedly, joyously, wondrously pleased. P please shut up. My arch nemesis, Frasia. Uh-huh. So, you call yourself the leader of the Loyalist Army now. You can fool the people, but you can't fool the sun. That's right, the sun which protects Felena has granted me two warriors with which I shall punish your evil deeds. I am speaking of two fearsome, dangerous, merciless warriors of the renowned Maximilian Knights. Oh, you see where this is going. Isabel, Matthias, this is the horrifically evil prince I told you all about. Dispose of him! It's that child. I'm not a freaking child! What are you talking about? So you're the prince. You're the one who formed a rebellion and started a civil war to threaten your own baby sister's rightful crown. You used and abandoned your own dearest ally, Lord Barrows. You are an evildoer of the highest evil. I wouldn't say that. Your evil shall perish by my blade. Or that's what I was going to say before I changed my mind. 
Yes, no, wait, what? Relax, I'm not going to attack you, your highness. What? What is the meaning of this? This is the villainous prince. Perish his evil by your blade and all that. Aren't the Maximilian Knights supposed to be sworn to a code of justice? What are you babbling about? I don't recall saying anything about justice. Matthias and I are evil too, after all. <laughs> You're what? A knight doesn't bring justice, just more pain and violence. And what is evil, if not violence? But what do you do when leaving evil alive leads to the rise of even greater evil, even worse sorrow and pain? You destroy that evil, even if you have to use the evil of violence to do so. <laughs> Excuse me. And every time you draw your sword, you hope that you take from this world more evil than you bring into it. That is the code of the Maximilian Knights. Seems plausible. Oh, um... I'm putting you at notice. You, who so carelessly use the word justice, have no idea what it truly means. That's the truth. Though you strike me as more of a misguided coward than a villain, your evil deeds must still be punished. That's exactly what he is, a misguided coward. Your evil shall perish by my blade. Clearly, this Isabel no knows what's going on. What about the poor victims in the House of Barrows who were deceived by this cruel, villainous, dastardly prince? Did you truly expect that Lady Isabel would believe e everything you say without first asking around? For the despicable crimes of attempting to lead Lady Isabel into irredeemable evil, your punishment is death. Whoop. I have a feeling some bodies are going to be placed in, into the river. I will know exact swift and final retribution, then deposit your loathsome corpse into the bottom of the river. See? If nothing else, Matthias is, is very consistent. So be it, Matthias. You may do what you will. Very good, my lady. Ugh. Come on out, all of you! What, some soldiers? Uh-oh, we're, we're in trouble now. Ha! Huh. What a pitiful, predictable scoundrel you are. Accurate. Let's go, child. So, Isabel and Matthews are gonna join us for this fight. A fighting evil. So we we so 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 we just gotta fight six soldiers. It's not really a big deal. Not a big deal at all. You can do some breath of ice and whatever else you want to do. Whatever you gotta do. Little first ray. Looks, looks like I Isabel has the Thunder Sword rune. And they have a co op attack, of course. Maximilian, 1.5 damage to one enemy, so. Why not? Why not show that off? Freeze! Chill out. Oh, random arrow. Nice. Isabel does does have a pretty badass looking sword. I like it. How about a little dawn magic? How about that? Oh, wow! That does some damage. <laughs> he died from poison. I guess I... Was that poison? I guess. Not sure what caused it, but...
Less of them. What is he? Yeah, a cyclone. Yeah, cy cy he has a cyclone rune, which you'll probably want to take off of him and put on someone you use. It, it, unless you plan on using him, of course. Mega Medicine! Not, not bad amount of money for how easy that fight is. So they, they come in pretty decent levels, that's not bad. Ah! You failed again. Ah! Yeah, get out of here. Shall I pursue him and deposit his loathsome corpse into the bottom of the nearest creek? <laughs> Let him go. Hmm. Very good, milady. Oh, they're they're just like Max and Poncho. I'm sorry I misled you, child. I knew exactly what Yurim was up to, but I pretended to go along with his plans. I wanted to see what you'd do to him, to get a measure of your character. And? But I guess I kind of jumped in there. I'm sorry. I saw evil afoot, and I just couldn't help myself. But what about you? You're fighting even worse evil than this coward, aren't you? How is it that you fell for such a pitiful trap? A champion of good has to be more careful than that. I may have to keep an eye on you. Shall we fight evil together? Obviously you want to say that. I was waiting for you to say that. Therefore, according to the code of the Maximilian Knights, Matthias and I must fight alongside you. So let our blades be joined in the eternal battle against evil. Sounds good to me. Matthias, as of today, you and I are members of the Loyalist Army. We shall exact final retribution against the Godwins and deposit their loathsome corpses into the nearest bog. Now it's bog. So it, it was river, then it was creek, now it's bog. So we get Isabel and Matthias. Who are both pretty good. Like I said, if you don't plan on you using Matthews, you might want to take a Cyclone Rune off and give it to a better mage. So. So, I believe that's it for recruiting. Now we, we want to head back up to the War Room to continue the plot. And coming up is a very, very, very interesting part of the game that I highly enjoy. Oh, they're still in our party, okay. So we can check them out. Like I said, they come in pretty de decent levels. She's got Herfjatur, a Zwayhander. It's a pretty badass sword. He's got a pike named Isabel, of course. Maybe he's from Warrior's Village. I don't know, but yeah. So he's got the Cyclone and Mow Down, which is uh, something no nobody's had yet. Night Armor, it's not bad. Strength Sash. Plate Armor. Bunch of random items. <laughs> okay. So let's see. Uh, is mow down cluster attack per percentage for stick weapons up so that's that's cool so we're gonna go ahead and take off his cyclone rune because I don't really plan on using him much and if I do want want, want, want to use him we can always put it back on him but you know yeah, okay. That's great. We'll take that Cyclone Ruin. Thank you very much. Okay. Alright. Let's put our characters back on, shall we? Do 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. I mean, they're not bad characters at all, but I, 
I really don't plan to use them much, if at all. Dying, that's what I wanted to use, okay. Like I said, like, who, who am I looking for? I don't even know. Okay. But yeah, c c coming up is a very cool part of the game that I really enjoy. And if you've played Sukoden 4, you may just enjoy it too. Bum bum bum. Egbert. Yeah, okay. That's great. Quiet down, Tweet Deck, okay? No, nobody asked you. Okay. Got all our support characters intact. Alright. So let's head back up to the war room and see what's going on. See what's happening. Actually, let me, uh... Do we want to put the Cyclone Rune on anybody? We... I prefer to put on someone who actually uses well, Wind Magic like Psyalids, but she's... We can't have her on our party right now, so that's gonna have to wait. I guess for now we can check uh, if there's any new, th new, new thingies. A complaint from Jano. How am I supposed to write a letter? That's what Jano said from Fuala Fuala. <laughs> okay. Invoice from Lympha. No hurry, but just be sure to pay me that 100,000 potch. I won it fair and square. <laughs> sure you did. This box from Maroon. Besides me and the Elder, I doubt any other beavers will use it. I hope your highness won't mind. It's just that there aren't any, many other beavers that can write human letters. That makes sense. Another advertisement from Mosin. Thanks for your patronage at Mosin Number Zero Armor Shop. We've given the customers what they want. Loads of new items in stock. Come on down to our store and see what we have to offer. Bring a friend! <laughs> Nakula from Dine. He is indeed the one we captured, but we didn't know his story at the time. Your Highness has welcomed him into our army, and we certainly respect this decision. Okay. 